Let's see what the champion has to say. Let's hear what he has to say now. The music. As most of you know, last week, Michael decided to come out during the match that I had with Kieran, and to my shock, didn't actually interfere. And then he goes on to say that he was out there to make sure that I walked out with the title, because he wants to face me at frostbite and then he decides to say and it's gonna be in a hell in a cell well first off Mike's thanks for coming out Mike honestly thanks for coming out and getting involved in a situation you didn't need to get involved in I mean I know it's been a little while since you've held the championship so you feel anytime the championship is defended you need to be out there but newsflash you're the former world champion not the current secondly you screwed Kieran out of a damn good match and honestly I'm gonna say Kieran I, I, I know you're here I see you here. I got nothing but respect for you. I'm sorry that it ended the way that it did. Of course, you know I will take the advantage when I need to. It obviously was not the match that we were hoping to have, and hopefully down the road we can have a rematch to that whole situation without Michael's interference. But let's talk about the topic at hand. Michael Carson getting his rematch for the World Heavyweight Championship at Frostbite in a Hell in a Cell. You see, Mike, for quite a while now, you want to downplay me. I'm the old man. I can't handle facing you. You're going to cripple me. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. Well, guess what you didn't do last time? You didn't win the World Championship match. I became a six-time World Heavyweight Champion for a reason. Not just because you failed to win, but also because five other times, Michael, I've been the World Champion. Five other times I have beaten those in this company that have been declared the best. I am the sixth time world heavyweight champion for a reason because I study my opponent I find out what their weaknesses are and I go after them now I'll give you one credit lately every time you and I have faced off against each other you have found that weakness on me and I'm gonna be honest to every single person here in the crowd I'm kinda hurting at this point I'm not a hundred percent you see, he's been going after that knee that I've had injured for years. And I know he's going to do it again come the Hell in a Cell at Frostbite, but it's not going to be enough. I am not going to just lie down and let you take this title from me, Michael. If you want this championship, you're going to have to not only beat me for it, but you're going to have to beat me within an inch of my life to take it off of me. You see, Hell in a Cell, you think, is the smartest thing in the world that you could do, but you fail to realize the first ever frostbite had a hell in a cell match and let me remind people here of the history of frostbite you see the first ever hell in a cell match took place at a frostbite in the vwe and the winner of that match was me i won my first ever world heavyweight championship of the vwe in a hell in a cell against three other competitors and if you think for a second, Michael, that this is going to be easy for you 
Oh, my friend, you just locked yourself in a hell in a cell with a caged animal. You see, I don't care what happens at the end of the night, Mike. You think that it's all about the belt for me. I'm sure a lot of people in the back think it's all about the belt for me. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not about the belt this time. The belt was simply a way for me to get Michael's attention even further. Because when we step into that hell in a cell, win or lose, Michael, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to break you. I'm going to destroy the very confidence you have in yourself. Because frankly, my friend, I'm on a whole different level than you and I have been for years. You simply believe that you're on a bigger level. But here's the facts. You have not faced the men I have faced. You have not been in the positions I have been. You have not done everything and anything to win this championship. You've only done the bare essentials, and your own damn brother has proven to be a better wrestler than you are. Frostbite, Michael Carson, Seth Cameron, it's not going to be just about this championship it's about blood and if you think for one second one absolute infinite second that you're going to beat the living hell out of me that you're going to break me like you promised people here just wait my friend because when I get my hands on you in that hell in a cell, I'm going to show you, like I did nine years ago, why you don't want to be in the middle of a structure that you can't escape from with Seth Cameron. Hit my music. It's four nights away, folks. Hell in a cell for the VWE World Heavyweight Championship.